bitch. The sun's about to go blind, man. Them great comp wheels. Grape said, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> <laughs> he better not scrape it, I'm gonna hit him. It's gonna be a highlight. I'm sitting there. It's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I'm just soaking up the moment right now in this beautiful weather. <sighs> I can't believe I fucking did this. C7ZR1, C6ZR1. That orange hits different in the sunlight. Beautiful. For, for people that don't know much about the ZR1s, they only made Inferno Orange in 2011, 2012, and 2013. In 2011, they only made 46 Inferno Oranges. And uh, for a total of 69 between 11, 12, and 13, this particular one I got with the Acropovic exhaust, which is really expensive. And it also came with a carbon fiber diffuser, which I think is awesome. It, it came with the stock diffuser as well. Um, but uh, it just it makes it look so good, complements the rest of the carbon fiber on the car. Comp gray wheels are also very rare. You don't see those often on ZR1s. I think I only know one other person in Michigan with comp gray wheels. Uh, my buddy Game Over on Instagram has a yellow one. And uh, it, <laughs> it just, it looks amazing. And the carbon fiber roof with the body lines, beautiful. Interior is a, uh, kind of basic compared to that. I got the uh, competition seats in that. They didn't offer that in, in the ZR1s for C6, but the 2012 and 13s came with upgraded seats. I loved the, the seats in my 60th anniversary. I had the blue blue interior with the stitching with the uh, Alcantara everywhere, uh, but this is all leather. Still very nice seating, just doesn't, uh, doesn't feel the same as the competition ones, obviously. No wear and tear on the seats. One thing that I do like about the C6 ZR1 better is, so they're both carbon fiber uh, hoods. The quality in this carbon fiber hood seems to be a lot better on the C6 than the C7. You, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but uh, that's the C6. And then the C7 just seems a little faded almost, I don't know. Maybe not as much clear coat. I'm not sure why why it looks like this, but I'm still in shock that I did this. This was this was not planned. I was not planning on getting both C7 ZR1 and C6 ZR1. The C7 obviously I've been wanting for a long time. I sold my 60th anniversary ZR1 to get the C7. I've always wanted an Inferno Orange ZR1. I've wanted this color. This was the color I wanted originally, but I scored such a good deal on my 60th anniversary, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, but I got a great deal on this one as well. One owner, thing is mint. First thing you have to do, or that at least I recommend you doing, if you ever were to buy a C6 ZR1, uh, would be check the clutch fluid. Not a lot of people know about that and uh, nobody ever changes it and as you can see that is filthy uh, probably it has never been changed unless it was taken in for some service work but uh the clutch fluid gets really really dirty on these cars and it's very important that you keep it clean uh because your clutch will fail uh, it's happened to me in my previous uh zr1s and it wasn't really a uh major fix it wasn't it wasn't that costly but it is uh, very very important to keep that clean so what we have here is some dot four a turkey baster and a cup to drain all the old fluid out and it's very easy you just 
all the dirt out of there and replace it with the new fluid. You get all of that. So you get all of it out of there and you fill it up. There is a line that tells you when to stop. So this is the second round here of swapping out the clutch fluid. Let's see how she looks. I highly doubt it's gonna be clean. Yep, it's still dirty. All right, round three. Another try. This is uh, the third time now. So you can definitely tell the difference in the clutch now since I changed the fluid. A lot stiffer. And uh, another cool thing about these ZR1s, I mean, you don't have to push the clutch all the way down to shift. I mean, you can probably push it down about 50%. And uh, it's like butter. I love it. It's uh, one of my favorite manual cars to drive. It's actually one of the easiest manual cars I've ever driven stock. Just a, overall a great car. I do want to know. I mean, it's pretty clear the c7 is faster it's got more horsepower it does weigh a little bit more than the c6 but i want to know how how bad or how close the c6 zr1 will be in a race uh, off of a 60 roll see you know <laughs> um see what the differences are i guess i mean i know the c7 zr1 is going to pull it's going to be faster than the c6 i just want to see how close of a race it's going to be the only problem is i can't drive both cars so we're gonna have to call somebody one of my friends to hop in either one i'm gonna give them the choice i'm just gonna make their day whoever answers the phone i'm gonna call a couple friends whoever answers first i'm gonna let them choose the c6 zr1 and bang some gears or if they want to drive the c7 zr1 and i'm pretty sure they're gonna choose this one just because who wouldn't want to drive that and honestly i would rather drive the C6 CR1 just because I I love banging gears I love the manual and I think it'll be I think it'll be a fun race and a, a fun video to uh, to make for sure so let's call a couple friends and uh, see who answers first and uh, who who's uh, whose day who's gonna be the lucky person to drive it and uh, hopefully if he answers it'll be his lucky day if he answers he gets to drive a, a ZR1 either a manual or a, Six me. Hello? Chris. What's up? So, I just got a new car today. And I was wondering if you wanted to come by and, uh, and hop in one of the ZR1s and go for a race. Hell yeah. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I need you at my house in... 15 minutes. Either in 10. C6 or C7? What are you hopping in? C7. <laughs> All right. Let's get it. Pull up. Either in a minute. How are you about to bring the STI when you know I'm about to put the Camaro up? <laughs> All right, so the real question is, who's hopping in the C7? Who's hopping in the C6? I want to see which car is faster. Me and Dula. You're <laughs> <laughs> driving the truck. <laughs> Wait, what? You take C6. Right? <laughs> You'll be the camera guy. So this is going to win all day. The C7 is gonna win, but I just want to see how well the C6 does with it. I mean, I don't think anybody's, I don't think anybody on YouTube has done a comparison for stock C7 ZR1 versus stock C6 ZR1. I mean, normal people don't have a stock six C6 and a stock. C7. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean normal people don't have? I know you're not normal. Look, which one are you taking, the the, the ZR1 or the or the C6? C7. You want the C7? I have C6 because I can bang gear. C7 is just... I, I, I've driven the C6 already. I haven't did the C7 yet. Hey, next time I get the Camaro out, I'm gapping that Subaru. I'll put your whole car on it. Oh, you want to race for the title? Let's do it. Huh. Let's do it. Chris. You know when I race, Ryan? 
the wifey the wifey says that she, that she wants to bet titles that the STI is gonna gap the silver bullet. If it's titles, we can the C seven. It's about to go down. Dula's hopping in the C7. I'm about to bang some gears in the C6. We're gonna see how well the C6 does. Hey guys, thanks for watching this upload. This upload uh, meant a lot to me. I didn't really get to do much uh, this year for my birthday uh, because of everything going on in the world. I hope uh, all my followers, all my friends and family and my fans, whatever you want to call them, I hope everybody is in good health, your family's in good health. I know there's a lot going on right now and I just wanted to let you guys know that you guys... Um, mean a lot to me. Everybody that, that reaches out to me, messages me, tells me how much they look up to me and I motivate them. And it really does truly mean a lot. So I wanted to thank you guys for that. Thank you for watching this upload. That race with the C6 and the C7, I was not expecting that. I couldn't get no traction in the C6 ZR1 because the tires are from 2010. They're on the original tires. So I need new tires ASAP. I'm probably going to put the Sport Cup 2s on there. Those came with the ZR1, excuse me, when I bought it. So I'm probably going to put on those Cup 2 tires that I got that came with the C7 on the C6 because the tires are shot. I couldn't get no traction, but when I did, I was hooking. And uh, Dula and Chris, it was the first time driving the, the C7. And they usually drive manuals. They're, they're, they weren't used to the automatic. They, weren't, they didn't know if they should use the paddle shifters or just let the computer do its thing. Uh, they had fun. As long as they had fun, that's all I really care about. And it was it was really cool, but I think they were short shifting on the C7 because when they did shift right, I mean it was it was gone. It was taken off on the C6. It is much faster, but it was definitely fun seeing, you know how how it would do for sure. Uh, I think I I think I might have been. I haven't seen anybody else do uh, C6 versus C7 stock for stock. Really, the only th modification that the Inferno Orange has is the Acropofic exhaust axle back i mean it's it's really it's really not much i don't think it gave it that much power but um it was definitely fun to do i appreciate i appreciate everybody like uh, i appreciate everybody once again and i hope you guys enjoyed the upload have a great night